Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Mind Mapping. Give students the opportunity to visually create and connect large and small ideas. Let's first answer the question of why we should use mind maps. When it comes to mind mapping, information is very well organized and memorable. Information is classified using single words and circles rather than reading large paragraphs of information. When students create their own mind maps, those mind maps are unique to the individual student. Students create the maps just like they would create a work of art. The brain recognizes the content as both visual and verbal, and the maps are created using the brain's natural way of thinking. Mind maps are presenting material in a way that is logical to the student. Now, let's discuss how teachers and students can mind map. The first thing you should do is identify the main topic of study. Maybe the student is in a chemistry classroom, but the main topic of study for the day is the periodic table. The next thing you do is center and circle the map with your main topic of study. So just like this, write the words periodic table and place a circle around it. Then branch off other important ideas from the main idea. So here is the main topic and you can then draw lines to other important ideas. For example, organization is one. Another subtopic of the periodic table is electron affinity. You can also add atomic radius and metallic properties. Lastly, you wanna support the important ideas with the most important information. So for example, the organization of the table can be broken down into groups or families which are actually columns going up and down, and you can even add a drawing of a family to help you remember. The table is also broken down into periods, which are horizontal rolls, so draw them as visuals. Spice up your map by adding even more drawings whenever possible. Now, if you want your students to mind map, you must first model the way for them on how to mind map. Take a few minutes during class time and do a lesson on the whiteboard for your students on how to mind map. Every once in a while, do a mind map of a particular topic during your instruction. Before we finish up, here are just a few tips for you and your students. Mind maps are a form of note taking. However, they can quickly run out of space, so have students plan accordingly. Also, let your students be creative when mind mapping. It should be fun. Also, whenever questions pop into their heads, allow them to write them down as well. All ideas are welcomed and accepted. Right now, I just want to say thank you for your time and subscribe to this channel.